After almost four months of exhausting debates, the delegates emerge with a plan to completely scrap the Articles of Confederation. They have written a blueprint for a new nation. This convention created a constitution of an entirely new government, very, very different from the Articles of Confederation because it was a national government in its own right, with its own president, its own senate and, and house of representatives, its own court system that would reach right down to individuals, have coercive power over individuals in a way that the Confederation never dreamed of. The Founding Fathers have addressed the issue of power in an entirely new way. They have put forward the idea that only in a large democracy, with an extensive system of checks and balances, can you protect the rights of the minorities from potential tyranny by the majority. It was a revolution in democratic thought. Prior to that, philosophers had said, if, and it was a huge if, if democracy is possible anywhere at all, it has to be in a small face-to-face -face society. Pericles, Athens, Rousseau's, Geneva, something of the sort. Now, they said, said Madison, no, the secret is an extensive republic. An extensive republic that will allow you to have a saving multiplicity of factions. The more the merrier. Faction used to be considered the great enemy of democracy. Madison said, no, wrong, completely wrong. Faction will be the savior of democracy because by having more competing factions, more diversity in the modern language, uh, you will have, again, uh, you will prevent the emergence of a stable, potentially oppressive majority. The biggest danger to our rights today is not from governments acting against the will of the majority, but from government which has become the mere instrument of this majority. Think about it. That's where the abuse of power comes from. Not the tyranny of the king, but the tyranny of the majority. Wrong will be done as much by an all-powerful people as by an all-powerful prince. The text of the Constitution is sent to the printers. It is only a proposal. It will not become the law of the land unless it is accepted and approved by the country as a whole. September 19, 1787. The Constitution is made public. We, the people of the United States, in order to form a more perfect union, establish justice, ensure domestic tranquility, provide for the common defense, promote the general welfare, and secure the blessings of liberty to ourselves and our posterity, do ordain and establish this Constitution for the United States of America.